Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 25. In the term of periods and group, where would you locate element z is equal to 1, 1, 4? So z is equal to 1, 1, 4. Let's start with this. Let's write the electronic configuration for this. So this is 1s2, 2s2. 2p6, 10 elements done, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2, 4f14, 5d10, 6p6, 7s2, 5f14, 6d10, and then 7p2. So this guy is the electronic configuration of 114. Correct. Right. How I wrote this using the above principle? It's very simple actually. If you don't understand this, please watch my previous chapter, atomic structure, where I explained how to write the electronic configuration. So this is my electronic configuration. So now I have to find which group it belongs to. So if you see, the last element is in P orbital. So it is P group. Let's find the period. The maximum value of N is 7. So it is 7 period. 7th period and P group or 7th P block actually I can say it belongs to P block 7th period which group so group I have to find for this so I know that for P group the group number is 10 plus valence electrons so the valence electrons in p orbital I have 2 here and I have 2 here. So 2 plus 2, 4. So there are 14 valence electrons. This belongs to 14th group. 14th group, 7th period, and p block. So this is my answer. So if you see just by the electronic condition, I can tell which group it belongs to. Correct. Write the atomic number of the element present in third period, 17 group. Please note, it is third period, 17 group. That means the max value of n is, max value of n is 3. And 17th period is nothing but my P group. So these things I know. So we start with third period, that means it should be somewhere here. Is third period, that means third period starts here and third period ends here. Right? From here, fourth period starts. So it is between these elements, any of these. Correct? See, it is in third period, so it is either of these in a configuration will be. Now it says my group is 17. So group is 17 for so group number for P period is nothing but 10 plus number of valence electron and this is 17 given. So my number of valence electron is 7, 17 minus 10. So let's put 7 minus electron here. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 is something which is there already. So I would put 7 minus electrons. I'll say 3s2 and 3p5. 7 minus electron I put. So this is my element I'm talking about. 
what is the atomic number for this atomic number is 10 plus 7 17 is the atomic number for this 17 atomic number is this that means i am talking about chlorine okay. so the reverse way also if i am told that this is a uh, third period 17 group i can find which element it is because with that i can find the atomic number see what i have done was i knew this third period that means it is any element in this range then i was told 17 group 17 group means seven valence electron so i have put seven valence electron here in the third shell what element you think named by lawrence berkeley laboratory and Seaberg groups. So it's more of a, a question which you can answer if you know all the elements in periodic table. So if you see there is something called Lawrenceum, element called Lawrenceum, and we have something called Berkelium also. So we are told that is all these elements uh, jelly uh, was found and the name was given based on the lab which found or the scientist he found. These two names resemble the name of the laboratory so we can say that this probably maybe that these two elements are found by this laboratory and for seaborg we see that there is an element called seaborgium atomic number 104 and we can say that maybe this is found by this laboratory correct so berkelium has atomic number 97 and lawrenceum has 103 so just we knew that earlier the uh, the trend was the lab or the scientist who found this uh, element, they used to name the element after them. So this could be the elements. Just guess, not 100% true. Why do elements in the same group have their similar physical and chemical property? If you see elements in same group have same number of valence electron right and valence electron is something which determines the physical and chemical property a lot not the only factor but the other factor also but valence electron is one of the critical factor and that's the reason if you see all the elements in a group right if you take all this group lithium sodium potassium rubidium all these have one valence electron if you take this group Beryllium, magnesium, calcium, scontium, these have two electrons, valence electron, right? If you take this guy, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, they have all seven electrons. So the number of valence electrons determines the physical and chemical property a lot, and all the elements in a particular group have the same number of valence electrons, and that's why they have similar physical and chemical property. They are anomalies, they are exceptions also, but generally the trend is that they have similar chemical and physical properties. What does the atomic radius and ionic radius really mean to you? See, atomic radius is nothing but size of atom, right? So if you talk about uh, metals, sorry, if you talk about metals, then I'm talking about metallic radius. If you talk about uh, non-metals, then I talk about covalent radius. If you talk about noble gases, I talk about vulnerable radius. So why I have so many kind of radius? Because amazing radius is difficult. One is the size of the radius is very small. Also, also the there is no fixed uh, boundary where the radius starts and radius ends, right? Because we deal with electron cloud because there's a nuclei and we have some electrons. Finding nucleus is simple, we can just uh, see the nucleus, but electrons it's a little difficult because they just move around here and they're very high speed. So for metal, what we do is like uh, we have metals in the crystal form. So we found the find a distance between two nucleus and get that uh, divide by two to get metallic radius. In case of uh, covalent compound, uh, where there are actually uh, two compounds have formed this, uh, uh, two atom has formed this compound, we again find this. Uh, distance and then find the uh, uh, radius and for noble gas we use vulnerable radius because they don't combine so depending on 
because finding radius for a sole atom is difficult we generally find uh, the radius of uh, atom when it is combined form so metals combine in a different way non metals combine in a different way noble gas never combined so, so we have different ways of finding radius right so ionic radius is nothing but radius of ion so it can be cation with a positive charge or anion with a negative charge as i told anion means a negative ion so it's a negative charge cation is a positive charge and this is nothing but distance uh, between ionic crystals so I have my ionic crystals that is my distance between ionic crystals are my ionic radius and also we know that cations that is positive are smaller than parents in parent atom why because the electrons are less so the nucleus attracts uh, the, the remaining electron with more power and strengths anions negative charge are bigger bigger than uh, parent electron why because the parent atom because the there is more electron and the same neutron difficult for the same neutron to control the electron and the size increases how do atomic radius vary in a period and in a group and explain the variation so atomic radius if you see uh, if it is this much big here if i go across the period it shrinks actually this guy becomes more the nuclei becomes bigger uh, the radius shrinks right the radius shrinks nuclei is very big if you go down this it increase actually so this guy has two shells this guy has three shells like this why if you go across the period it, it decreases because uh, the number of electrons are i mean the the this proton size increase and it attracts the electrons all the more it shrinks if you go down the group there is something called shielding effect by the inner orbitals and the e effective is less so also due to extra orbitals getting added shells getting added the size of the atom increase thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again